Jackson State partnered with the West Tennessee Health Foundation and Murfreesboro Police Department to provide the community with this two-part criminal justice forum. 39 News was able to attend the overdose prevention training hosted by Deanne Sherrod. Okay, so today we provided uh, naloxone and overdose reversal training for the criminal justice students here at Jackson State. One thing that's important for them to know in their work is that they are probably going to be met with people who might be at high risk for an opioid overdose. So today we were able to train them on overdose reversal, not for opioid, not only for opioids, but also for stimulant overdose. Today's forum was divided into two parts. One, Narcan training, and the other, a presentation on mental health and autism. Associate Professor Karen Perrin tells us all about it. So only, you know, not all people who have mental health have drug um, challenges, but we want to make sure that we do the whole scope, that we do see mental health and we see, see that abuse of drugs kind of go hand in hand in some places. And so we wanted to cover both aspects of that today. Criminal justice student Sarah Joyner explains how training like these have built her confidence in emergency situations. Like, I work at a hotel at night, um, and I'm the only one there at night. It gets scary. It's a little spooky. But I've had people pass out. They've hit their head. Like, it's a very dangerous situation. And knowing that I might be able to help them just gives me more foresight into the situation and makes me feel more safe about the situation. The state of Tennessee reports in the year 2021, there were a total of 3,814 recorded overdoses in the state alone. If you or someone you know needs help to recover, you can visit some of the resources on your screen. Brianna Hardiman, 39 News, Jackson.